Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honey, and glory to the Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rishon Kadash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who teach very well. But we like this truth from and citation out there to the hopeful elect who continue to push this word in our truth, faith, and sincerity, man. And here we are again, week in and week out, on um, the prophet side of this wicked place, America, man. And if you don't think that this place is going to fall, just look at the uh, history, man. Look at the things that have been happening over the past week or so. Uh, with the SBB bank just closed down. Now, do you think that's just going to be the end of the economic collapse of America? No, man. It's only going to get worse and worse as we get closer and closer to the end, man. You know, um, Father Kasha, you give me um, the Amos, the third chapter. Okay. I know I said this, okay. The Amos 3, you know, like around 6. Because okay. ultimately, we're prophesying the end. Okay. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 16. See? For yet greater evil than those which thou hast seen. Father Kasha, jump up on that. Um, Good. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Right there. Let go from these mortal thoughts, man. Because the temporal things in this world is going to blind you from the bigger picture, man. You know, uh, again, all hell is going to break loose. It's going to be an upcoming famine. The money is going to crash, man. It's going to be a sense of desperation throughout the planet Earth. You think that Russia and Ukraine thing is going to die down? Even if it do, it's going to get uh, something that's going to overpass that. You know, they doing uh, war games in the Middle East and stuff like that. This is just the build up into the end. You got it, huh? Okay. It says, cast away the burdens of man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cast away um, the things that you worried about. Because you need to be worried about being saved from these other times. You got it? Put off now the weak nature. Put off now the weak nature, man. That, that weak mindset. Because if you have a weak mindset in that time, you're going to bug out, man. If you don't have the high by Shemal Shai, especially in the times that you're going to come, that we're coming into, you're going to bug the fuck out. You got it? And set aside the thoughts. That are most heavy unto these. Yes, your baby mama drama, all that bullshit, man, that's meant to throw you out the truth, man. But this truth is meant to get the everlasting life. You know? That's why it says, let your eyes look straight on. Yeah. It says, and haste thee to flee from these times. Haste to flee from these times, because shit, it's going to get worse and worse, man. No shit, it's going to get heavy, man. Because through the spirit and power of your high body, Shema Shah, the Lord, he's going to be ready to show himself, man. Especially these latter days, because what these people have been missing is the fear of the Lord, man. They have been missing uh, Alashijah, and you're going to get very uh, uh, acquainted with him, man. You know? You got it, huh? Okay. Yes, it says, for yet greater evils mm -hmm. than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here. Huh? It says yet greater evils, man. So even though, like, people say they are, uh, they, they plan, uh, damn it. No, that was an evil, but the Lord said greater evil than that is going to come, man. It's going to be an evil that you're not going to have no money to get nothing to eat. And let's say if you do have no money, it's not going to be no food left. It's going to be greater evils. People are going to be so desperate that they're going to have to eat their own way. You know? Yeah. Uh, what I do? It says, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age. It says, look how much the world shall be um, weaker through age, man. And you can see, it's, it's been a very weak nature, especially for this Western society, man. There's a thing called toxic masculinity. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of things that break people down for the lack of battle words. But through the spirit of Kavi Havash and Al-Shah, that's setting you up for the get go. You know? You got it. It says, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell there. Yes, man. Right there, thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Not me. The Lord said this. You got it? And evil and only evil behold is come. Evil and only evil behold is come. You go into that word evil. That word evil many times, and that word ill meaning bad. So bad times is going to come upon the planet earth right now, whether you believe it or not. You got it? And end is come. And end is come because, hey, evil's in the end that's synonymous with each other, man. Every kingdom, before their fire, it, it had to be some ruffling of the feathers for the lack of better words, man. You know? You got it. The end is come. The end is come. You got it. It watching for thee. It watching for thee. Behold, it is come. Behold, it is come. And we're already up upon it, man. How do we know that 2nd Ezra's 9th chapter, I mean, the 6th uh, chapter? 
Esau is the end of the world, and, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Yeah, we're gonna come to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, and very soon, man, we're gonna be in peace. But like it says, through much tribulation, shall we enter to the kingdom of heaven, man. This is 2 Ezra chapter 16 and verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. It says the plagues are sent, man. And, and, and what's one of those ultimate plagues? The nuclear missiles. Because nobody would have never thought that America was going to go into a major war, man. Nobody would have never thought that World War III was going to be the end all and be all of this place, man. And why people just um, thinking that everything's going to be fine and dandy. You go to church tomorrow. You go to work Monday. Right. It's gonna be a point when all that shit gonna change, man. You know? Yeah. It says the fire is kindled. The fire is kindled. And shall not be put out. It shall not be put out. Amen. The Lord, he's laying shit up, man. You got it? You got it? If I may, uh, yeah. you said that fire kindled, shall not be put out. Because the Lord's gonna accomplish that which he pleased. Uh, his intentions is to make, uh, to uh, violently overthrow this place. Exactly. The complete destruction of America. You know? It says, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out until it consumes the foundation of the earth. Yeah, until it actually accomplishes the thing that it's supposed to be doing, man. You know, the fire is just going to keep on coming and coming. That's why I say, oh, what should I do if it already be kindled, man? Ooh, that's it. The Lord's going to really fuck this place up, man. And, right. and if you're not uh, with the program, for the lack of better words, you're just going to get casted out, man. You know, you got an yeah. one. Yeah, God, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 14. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready. Right now, we're blowing the trumpet right now. By the way, a prophesy, daily epistles, and we tell you what's going on in current events too, man. You got it. It says, but none go to the battle. But none go to the battle. Yeah, we're blowing the sound of war. We're blowing the sound of all hell is breaking loose. That America is going to change as you know it. But you're not hearkening to that. You're too busy worrying about LeBron James, man. You're too busy uh, worrying about this society. That's why it says the darkness, the power of this world have blinded you. You have been blinded um, by the ways of Esau, so you can't see the prophecy. Yeah, they too sloppy. Yeah. I mean, they, they too concerned with uh, March Madness. That's it. Yeah. Hey, that's spirit mad. Yeah. <laughs> These niggas lost their mind, bro. Right, right. You got it. It says, For my wrath is upon all the multitude that rose. And that's why a lot of niggas not hearkening. Because the Lord want to kill a lot of people, man. Right. And the Lord, even if somebody died in a famine, hey, Yahweh wish I did that, man. That's why it says, even the baby. Who it says, um, whoever perished being innocent, and what were the righteous cut up, amen. The Lord, he's going to get that count up. You know? Yeah, verse 15, the sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. Hey, it says the sword was out, and the famine and the pestilence is within, man. The grocery stores are going to close up. People are going to scatter out into the city. You're going to die out there. You know, you're going to die in the country, and you're going to die in the city. No matter where you go, you cannot escape the judgment of the Lord, man. You got it? It's not real, but you're going to remember what you just said. This is the second Genesis, chapter 16. And um, I just get to the point. Second chapter 16, verse 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. It, it shall not be slack. So the Lord, he's not gonna fuck around. He's not gonna play with you. Right. You got it. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. It says sorrow shall come upon it on every side. That's why he's a spirit of depression, you know, uh, uh, on, on the planet Earth. Hey, but that depression is gonna gonna get worse. Why? Because the Lord is gonna bring down the party. Going back, so every side, so it's not gonna be no relief. Right. So you in the city or out in the country, it don't matter, man. Yo, Marcus, there's no solution, man. It's how you have a bicycle outside. Just like in the time of Noah, just going back to what you said, uh, uh, referring like the destruction. The people there, well, who have heard such a thing as rain in that time? Same thing with the destruction of America, man. This, this, this happened. Yeah, so it's no way you're going to escape the judgment of the Lord. Folks, what's up? Jeremiah 11 and 11. I'll put this up. Oh, yeah, come. 
the second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. And suddenly shall the song places appear unsung. Hey, suddenly shall the song places appear unsung. Hey, because look at the uh, agriculture of America, man. They're not booming like they're used to. Bill Gates, he just bought up all the farmland. And hey, that's going to affect the years. Uh, that's why inflation is uh, actually going up high. Let's say if a thing was a dollar last year, now it's a dollar and 25. People say a dollar and 25 is not shit. That's a 25% increase, man. You know? Let's say if something was a dollar ten, now it's a dollar and eighteen, and that's an increase, man. And people don't look at it that way. An Arizona tea, before I was born, an Arizona tea was ninety nine cent, bro. Now it's fucking a dollar and ten. That's that's how you know the world gonna end, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody would never thought uh, Arizona was gonna change their prices. They forced to. Yahweh Shemar Shah is gonna force your ass to uh, come under his uh, sub subjection, for the lack of better words. Right. You know. Bring everything to opinion. Yeah. Beautiful point, man. Everybody present is a prophet. Mm -hmm. Your 10-year plan don't matter. Ultimately, you're going to succumb to the testimony of your house. Okay, it says, As the trumpet should give a sound, which when every man hear him, he shall be suddenly afraid. Yes, Clement, because you're supposed to be afraid, man. The, the Lord have bored. Who, who will not be afraid for the lack of power of words, man? Gun, you get that off. Gun, because ain't through the spirit of power you have by Shemal Shah, man. When the Lord speaks, man, it, it's troubling. That's why when Samuel came into the town and says, um, that come and stop peacefully. Because nine times out of ten, when a prophet comes, he's the bearer of bad news, man. You know? Gun, it says, at that time, at that time, which is the times that we are in right now, you know, you got it. Shall friends fight one against another? Mm -hmm. Like enemies. That's it. Your home gonna look like a hot dog. And, and your skinny home gonna look like a fat home gonna look like a your skinny home gonna look like a hot dog. And, and your fat home gonna look like a hamburger, man. And that one, that one is gonna be because that sense of desperation is gonna kick in. That sneakers commercial, you, you're not you when you said, Y'all grew up together. But now since you were hungry, you finna betray them. You know what I'm saying? You got it. And the earth shall stand in fear mm -hmm. with those that dwell therein. And, and why you want to be in fear? Because your howl by Shimei Howard Shah is basically finna fuck this place up, man. Full of lack of battle words, man. You know? Hey, those, those are the two motivators. Mm -hmm. Fear and hunger. They motivate you to, to go to uh, diverse situations, man. Situations and things that you never thought you would do. Okay, you got it. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 3. It says, now is the end come upon thee. I will send my anger upon thee. And how is the Lord sending his anger? By sending these different plagues, man. Again, that ground 19, that was a part of the Lord's anger. But even this upcoming family that were, were creeping upon, man. That's a part of the, the anger of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You got it? And will judge thee according to thy ways. And I will judge thee according to your ways. So your judgment is going to be rightfully deserved. You earned that punishment, man. You earned to get put to death, man. You know? You got it. And will recompense upon thee the all thy abominations, mm -hmm. and my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways mm -hmm. upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And that's it, man, because ultimately these niggas living in wickedness, man. They, you know, niggas that's, um, for the lack of battle words, they're moles, they're Romans one, you know, for the lack of battle words, they, they was giving them to vile affections. And they think they were just going to go out in the sunset being that way, man. But the Lord said he's going to recompense you. Look up that word recompense, Bob Shah Dean. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Look up that word recompense. Because the Lord is finna get ready to fuck people up, man. Yeah. When you going in the wrong way, you going, it's like you going a uh, hundred miles an hour down the one way, man. And you going the wrong way. You, ultimately, it's gonna be a point in time when somebody's just gonna hit your ass, man. That's right. You know? You got it. Uh this the uh, word recompense, simple Google definition. It says, make amends to someone for loss or harm. It says, to make amends for someone for what? Lost or harm. You, you, you popping another man, you a man that's fucking lost. So the Lord, he's going to recompense you, man. You got it? It's a judgment on behind it. It says, suffer, compensate. It says, to suffer, to compensate. So the Lord is going to let you niggas suffer from going down the wrong way. You're going 100, down, you're going 100 miles an hour down the one way. Ultimately, you could just gonna hit a cop, you know. You got it. That's it. That's it. Go back. It says, "And ye shall know that I am the Lord." Thus said the Lord Yahweh, and evil and only evil 
Behold, it's come. It says, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, man. You're going to know your high by Shema is alive and well when you can't eat, man. You're going to be, you know, all these atheists, the guys who don't, doesn't believe in the Bible, the God, the people who doesn't believe in a higher power, it's going to be a day where you're going to be forced to. Because every day you can go home, you can turn your lights on, you have running water, you know what I'm saying? You can go on Facebook and Instagram, you have internet, and the Lord going to cut all that shit out. And it's going to make all you niggas bug out, man. You know, hold on real quick. I, uh, you got it. Yeah, because 2nd Edges 15, verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And that's it. It says the Lord is bringing plagues, man. Because, you know, you can't put things in your own hands. It's your Havavah Shemi Shah, who's the director of the movie, man. That's why I says, avenge not yourselves. Because it's going to be a day when the Lord going to get that nigga. You know? You got it. It said the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That's what? It says sword, famine, death, and destruction. These are the different plans that the Lord is going to send. You got it? It says, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, I hope for words are for fear. Go ahead and continue on there. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my tongue no yeah, more. Yeah. Because the Lord, he's not going to sit back and let niggas be niggas, man. Yeah, he's right. not going to sit back and let, uh, for lack of better words, let us suffer here in this place. Because we're suffering, man. Yeah. There, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, signs, proper, all the abomination get done in the midst thereof. Every day, it's going to be something that's going to vex you and piss you off, man. That's, 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 that's us through the Spirit uh, showing the anger of the Lord. Because if we mad, we know that the Lord mad at this shit, man. Say lot with that, which is filthy conversation, little wicked. You got it. <laughs> hey, if I made a come back to the film. What is that? Revelation 14 talking about a great song, right? So the wickedness that reached the climax of what now is happening. You know, just like back then, you read uh, Genesis 15 talking about the nickel getting ever right. He says the evil arrows of famine, which shows you that the Lord is sending out a hit, man. The Lord said he's going to send arrows uh, of famine towards these people, and that's the biggest thing for this place. This place is a, a consumer nation, for the lack of better words. Um, they indulge in wickedness, they're gluttonous. You can get a four for four, you can get a five for five. You know what I'm saying? It's good to a piece. Yeah, peace, peace. <laughs> and they can be down their car for a <laughs> That should be nasty as hell, but they indulge it. Coca-Cola. Oh, the Bible is old. Put a coat. And you gonna show me the outdoor, man. You got it, huh? It says, which shall be for the destruction, and which I will send to destroy you. Yeah, then that's the Lord. He's gonna send this place to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you. And we'll break your staff of bread. And that's this time. With this staff, that's something you hold on upon. 
If a nigga straight as long as he get to eat at the end of the night, man. A nigga straight as long as he, you know, have Popeyes and McDonald's stuff. Boy, he's gonna break that staff, man. That comfortability, that crunch that you hold on, man. Because through the spirit, once niggas hungry, but like a battle earth, now you forced to listen, man. Now you forced to argue. Now you hungry, man. You know? <laughs> How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow will give her. For she said from her heart, I see a queen and am a widow and shall see no sorrow. It just said live deliciously, man, like the uh, elder brother mentioned. Food, man. Nick, that's, that's your driving force now, man. Food is people driving force. When they get taken away, uh, it's going to be a sense of desperation. Again, it's going to get to a point now you eat. Eight the leaves, you got tired of that, you don't like how it's in this spirit. The old job I used to work at, man, through the spirit, it was a conversation, man. And you know how niggas get, for the lack of better words, he was like, man, if I got to, my daddy, he used to eat raccoons. I was like, damn, it was a woman. I was like, damn, you would eat anything. She was like, yeah, if you cook it, you do it right. I said, you would eat a human? She looked at me kind of crazy, and it was a nigga in the back of hell yeah, I'll eat somebody. Wow. Real shit. Real shit. Nigga, 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 nigga was coming against me. All right, what about the leaves, bro? You ain't gonna eat no leaves, no grass, or nothing? He was like, no, nah, man, you gotta have that protein. We show you that they already in that mindset. Well, they actually already eat them. Like, man, no, psychologically, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 That's it, cause you all what you eat, man. You eat and you eat this nigga take this nigga finger tastes like Big Mac sauce, man. That was gonna happen, but again, these they was actually coming up against me talking some, yeah man, you gonna be the first No bro, through the spirit, you weren't supposed to even eat no human, bro. The Lord already set up laws and statues, what to eat and what not to eat. It's a, a cause and effect for everything, man. So for these niggas who eat these different humans and crazy shit, the Lord got a special judgment for you, man. That's why mad cow disease was a bad thing um, back then, bro. Your body's gonna reject that shit. But for lack of better words, niggas are not gonna know what to do, man. Instead of that, like, instead of you, you, first, your first thing is gonna eat a first, your first thing is not to pray to the Lord, you know, ask for a miracle, ask for salvation, ask for a divine inspiration. And your first thing is to trust in your fucking self, man. That's why Lord is finna to judge a lot of motherfuckers and we're gonna be happy, man. Right, yeah. I, I'm glad that Lord created a nigga because I'm gonna be happy as hell when he take him out, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, can I say too, you brought it out, the whole of the lesson. Uh, the scriptures encourage you to let go of more than thought. And the weak, the weak nature. Now, the weak nature really goes into the flesh. Right? As, uh, as it is written, the, the flesh is weak. So what's gonna happen? You people are gonna revert to the brute beast that you are. Because we're going to have a spiritual outlet. The scripture said we're going to no longer stay upon him that smote us, but upon the Holy One of Israel. So that's our outlet. You guys are going to be reduced to brute beasts. Eating whatever you can eat. The idea of patience is going to be out of the way. 
We're going to be patient and wait on the Lord, man. Yeah, come real quick. This is going to be like you said. You're going to trust me. How about you now? You know, the Lord is going to take carnality out of these situations. Uh, this is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. And uh, verse 25, it says, There was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged him until an ass's head was sold on four score pieces of silver and the four part of a calf of doves have a dove dog for five pieces of silver. Yeah, That's inflation right now, man. But at the beginning, it's a day for me. That's like a lockdown for a lack of better words. You know? Yeah. It says, and as the king of Israel was passed upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help me, when shall I, I help say, uh, There's a spiritual overtone to that. Because you're going to have people. Come to us for answers, right? Yeah. Those who, we upon the, you know, those who upon the wall of the In Jeremiah the 15th chapter, oh, somebody get that as well, because the Lord is conjuring up great works right now. We're speaking about the famine, but there's one of the strange works that's going to visit some people as well, right? He's changing the place, which that's been going out a lot lately. Every other day, you see a pit bull attack. Guys mauled by pit bulls. It was a, a story of a couple of chimpanzees. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Where they ripped, they sabotaged, they ripped the guy's nose off. Not the spirit of your how about you know what I'm saying? Yep, right, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get that. Now, this is Jeremiah 15 and verse 1. It says, Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, Yet my mind cannot be towards these people. Cast them forth out of my sight and let them go forth. Mm -hmm. And this shall come to pass. Right. This is the Lord has laid up uh, the time in which he was busy to America. That's how the Lord looked at you as the enemy, the God of the Bible. He looked at you Americans as enemies. You eat pork, but yet you're calling on the Lord. Going to funerals, you know what I mean? Lord, not dealing with you. Lord, he says, and this shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Well, shall we go forth? Right, see, they're going to look for answers. We just read that. With the lady at, what shall we do? How are we going to eat? That's going to be the spirit in the planet Earth, man. You're going to eventually have to come around to the authority. So that's why he was the king. They came to the king. Eventually, you're going to have to come to the authority of your how about you now, Shai, and you're going to seek answers. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to go into scriptures, justify why the Lord is to destroy you. And that what happens with, uh, like, you know, uh, let's say the power company, they come to disrupt your service. And you say, why, man? And he's going to the records, man. Right? Go ahead, God. It says, uh, then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as for death. See, thus says the Lord. So according to the scriptures. Go ahead. Duh, so like such as for death to death, mm -hmm. and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for, for the famine to the famine. Right. Such as for death unto death. You see people just dropping dead. On the autopsy they put uh, natural causes. We understand that that was the work of your how about some outside. Such as for the sword, that's going to be violent death. That ranges from you being annihilated, right? You're trusting that Esau being bitten by the serpent, or being mowed down in the streets with an AR-50, with a, they call it the Draco, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. some little unruly demon. Or the uh, climax of that war, which would play out in the form of those ICBM mills. Go ahead. Con, it says, it's such as for the famine to the famine. They go to famine again, man. We know that that directly ties to America. This correlates with Babylon the Great. Because again, America is set up to please the flesh. It's geared to please the flesh. And how is that feed accomplished? Through these restaurants. The fast food. And that proves that this is uh, Esau's kingdom. This is his time to have the baby. Remember, when you go into the records, that's touching the. Uh, 
Jacob and Esau, the humble beginning, wet, wet, submitted his fault. He wanted that fast food. When he came in the house weary and hungry, the pottage wasn't even done. He said, give me that now. He was looking for instant gratification. He was looking for fast food. And when you go into the history, the Roman Empire, they had fast food restaurants. Go ahead, uh. God, he says, in such as are for the captivity, to the captivity. Oh, they call this a microwave society. Mm -hmm. They have a, a, a fridge somewhere. You don't care what, you get Walgreens, see me as a fridge with nuggets in it, right? Yeah, Tyson right? 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 You just made me think about it. Instagram. Instant. Instagram. That's another example. See that food? Hey, hey, our scripture speaks about those princes and war to them who eat in the morning. Matter of fact, can we get that real quick? When in pursuit of a kingdom or an inheritance, it requires patience. Right, because it's laid up for someone else laid it up. You know, it's an inheritance, you gotta wait on that. So the so-called white man is canceled out. He, he's disqualified just for that act alone. He has impatience. Which that's an act of pride, as it is written. Open to the uh, it's better to be patient in spirit than proud. Let us say that's spirit. Yeah, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 8, it says, Better is the end of a thing. Then the beginning thereof. This is beautiful time. This is beautiful time. The spirits that you see in this council, we've been waiting on this moment for ever. Literally, from the beginning of time. When everything was laid out, because even when the earth was created and everything in it, the uh, scenario, the story was created too. Go ahead. It says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Read that part again. It says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. See, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. That actually goes back to Jacob and Esau. When you think about it, those two entities, which that word pride is synonymous with Esau. And we know that that patience is a quality that will be possessed by the elect of the nation of Israel, those who are destined to occupy the throne and to become joint heirs with the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh's Son. See? So that's the two extremes. Patience the Spirit versus the problem. So that's why here in this system, you have fast food restaurants. Like, like the other said, you have Instagrams. You have microwaves. Go ahead, uh, uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, oh, come on, real quick, real quick. Yeah. Luke 21 and 19, mm -hmm. in your patience, possess ye your souls. Yeah. In your patience, possess ye your souls. Right? And you know what? A thing about patience, when you assess it, when you really examine patience, it's an act of humility. That's why the opposite is the proud of spirit. Because when you're patient, you're acknowledging that you're waiting on a higher power. You're acknowledging that it's out of your hands. You know, brothers might work, brothers might stay, they might do whatever they got to do to survive, but at the end of the day, we understand that the destiny lies in the hand of the power of us from the outside. Yep, come on, that was it up. God, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 16. Woe to thee, O land, when thy check, it's like, read it again. Mm -hmm. it says, woe to thee, O land. O land. So everything builds right back up to the destruction of America. That word woe goes into destruction, right? And that destruction is not going to be random. It's going to be precise. The Lord is going to send that destruction to a certain land. Although, throughout the planet Earth, is going to be attacked. That's why the Earth is going to rear to and fro. But the main target is this land, America, Babylon the Great. Read that again. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child. And we know that that translates to Esau, man. And make us poop. This nigga bungee jumping, skydiving, rock climbing, cutting down every tree. He could shoot down the animals, knocking off the ecosystem, creating plastic as a right, a means, you know, a necessity. 
that's pretty much one of your provisions now in this society. I went to a certain restaurant, they, they use wood as straws. They try to, I don't know if you ever been to that. Certain restaurants have the wood, and they try to, uh, you know, feeble attempt somehow, you know, uh, clean up with Esau and Ben. You know, you have Green Day. Look, man, the so-called white man is responsible for destroying the planet Earth. That's why I say war to the land when the child, when the king is a child. You leave a child at the house, you come back, it's like home alone. That's what Esau is moving past down over this place, man. It's like a devil. I got something back here. Yeah, uh, real quick, let's get this one first. Right. Isaiah 3 and 12, it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors. Right, and it's well documented who oppressed the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American. It was Edomites. They actually children. Under this man, watch. Even though we understand it goes back to prophecy and the sayings of Yahweh Shah, but under this man's watch, there's a World War III is possible. Go ahead, I'm it says, and women rule over them, on my people, they which be, be thee, cause thee to error, mm -hmm. and destroy the way of thy path. That's it. So okay. under this watch, you're going to err. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, yep. Uh, the scripture saying uh, in the apocrypha, that's the, uh, that's the ruler of the city is, so all the people. So you got that? Okay. Go ahead. It's rock team, verse 2. As the judge of the people, yep. it's himself. So are his officers, mm -hmm. and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, uh -huh. such are all they that dwell therein. Right. So this man right here, like the elder was saying, man, is a child. All right? That's why folly is sitting great dignity here in America, man. Right. That's why uh, pork is a delicacy. Every every low, everything that the most I said not to do, everything the most I said not to do, to, to do it is, 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 is you, you, get, you get honored. Spot, you know, uh, put it like the Wayne Wade for the things that he have done, him and his wife, unions. They get honor for it, man. Why? Because Esau Edom's in rulership, man. That's not going to happen in a righteous kingdom. Niggas have challenges. They look at you crazy. You don't know about the. That's under the watch of Esau, man. That, that proves that he's a child. Oh, there's carnivals and amusement parks. Moonwalks. Yep, moonwalks. Eat finger foods and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got dipping sauce with nuggets and shit. Show you that this man a child on all levels. What the fuck you got to do? You grind up some chicken, then turn it into nuggets. And you made it a fun thing to dip chicken in honey mustard and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's all made readily available by Esau, so called white man. This is his kingdom. You want to take credit for, you know, the, the, uh, and bask in the glory of this being your kingdom, but you don't want to be held accountable for the shortcomings that come with it. You they, uh, know? Mm -hmm. and, and on top of that, they got a lot of recalls. Yeah. You'll never hear about the recalls when they send it back 5,000, 50,000 chickens mm -hmm. from Tyson. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, all type of, um, like asbestos in the walls, yep. lead, paint, yep. right. and your child get deteriorated from eating it. Yep. And then not to mention, these are the same people that pr provided the whole population of the world this 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 element that included uh, child fetuses inside it. Yep. Right, so, you know, they, you only taught to look at the good, but the bad is what's deteriorating you in generations. You know, that's what the scriptures actually say on, um, if it wasn't, the days are shortened. Yep, yep, the days no are shortened, shortened, no flesh would be saved. So you got to take that into account. Got it. We're talking about the earth being fouled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah 24 and 5, the earth is also, God, verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languishes and fadeth away. the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Because we see it under the watch of this man, uh, he, uh, this is this is we see the earth is in the worst state it's ever been, man. To where you got terms under the watch of Esau, chemtrails. You got uh, what is called forever chemicals, yeah. acid rain. Right. Even uh, with the the sea life, there's a thing called beaching and shit. Right. 
That's other than Esau, man. Other so called white man. That's death. That's that death. That happens with the second chapter. He's loyal to the desires of hell. Everything that comes with the so called white man is death. Oh, what's that? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Proverbs, Job, Job, the 10th chapter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be able to say that, man. He rules the, the, the land or the shadow of death, just like Job. Right. 10th chapter, man. Oh, we can get that too, Job, the 10th chapter. Yeah, but no, let's get somebody else. He holds us on. Oh, he holds us Yeah, yeah. He, he holds us Isaiah 24. We got that Job 10. Yeah, because uh, so called, this is the result of the a, the reflection of the so-called white man being in power is Fago. Oh, Coca-Cola. Yep. <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah, you guys that you, you were listening. <laughs> hey, the scriptures tell you, all you guys that came up under the teachers, you disgruntled guys, you came up under the teachers. You heard us talking about Fago, man. So you don't have to discern the, the, the disciple. The, a Coke? The difference between a Coke and a Fago? Yeah. Oh, that's that coke in it. Yeah, that's my guy with Jack. He the wings played in the coke. And he, he goes shoot for him. <laughs> Jacked up, man. No, yeah. When it gets to the point where you gonna burp, <laughs> after, 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 that's what I was waiting on. After, after like the, after, after three swallows, and you ain't burping no more. Yeah, that means you have, you have become immune to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, the book of Pro the Proverbs, chapter 7. And uh, so like the book of Proverbs 7, 27. He says, her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. So pretty uh, so-called white man, everything he brings forth is the, uh, the source of all these wickedness that come forth is from America. It's, it's going to lead you to hell, man. It's going to bring you to a lower state. It's going to go down mm -hmm. to the chambers of death. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, the results is you're going to be stuck here when the missiles come, and that's it's like going into a prison. That's why America known as the pit. We were free through the understanding. Scripture say after they have escaped the pollution of the earth, which is what Esau and his kingdom, through the knowledge of the how about some Yahweh. That's the key, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the You had that? Oh, go ahead. You got it. Go on, read. Isaiah 30, verse 1, it says, Woe to rebellious children, said the Lord, they take counsel, but not of me. Uh -huh. And yeah, that, so they could, what they take counsel though? What they gonna take counsel of? To the so-called white man. And that's and that's different forms of fashion where they go uh uh actually go to an Edomite or uh, some see or uh, even with these celebrities. Presented as a form of relief. <laughs> For a sound for the sound counseling in your mind, they go to Esau for it. So yeah. warranty you for that. Yeah. They like the brother said, it's across the board. Yeah, yeah. Anybody outside of their circle by default, you go to Esau. Whether it's in the form of your rap career, you want to be the next LeBron James, you in every jump shot you take. I mean, I'm not saying that this can't be brothers that's in the truth, right? That that might we know, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. Ain't no brother in the truth pursuing. You got them no, NBA no, career. No, 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 no. You no, might not. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> but the high feet. Nah. Now you might be a believer from afar. You might believe. But even in that, man, we don't need your validation. You had to become at least friends of the prophet, helpers or something. You know, the hell with you guys out there. Right? Everything that you put your stock into is outside of the will of your house by some outside. Because I guarantee you, uh, your bucket list don't include missiles coming. <laughs> so that means you outside of the you outside of the will of your house by some outside. 
You have a bit, the boy gonna kill you. Yep, come on. Mm -hmm. They lost patience too. Yep. I'm saying that earlier. Lose, you lose, you fuck around and lose patience. You get right there with the rest of them thinking you got a career in something. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's, it's actually uh, account to that within the ministry. Uh, guys who was, was in the circuit, then they went back to uh, pursue a rap career. They was, they was holding posts. They was out there on the front line, rolling up their sleeves when your house bouncing out was shot. And they went back, now they're in the studio. There was a guy in a certain camp, I ain't gonna say this camp or nothing, but the point came when he, he was seen on stage, you know, he had a, opening up for a mother, you know. I think he left out the, came out of the truth. Oh, the one guy, the big feminine guy who was there about the bed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he came out. He came on record and said, how was that? He said, great millstone, but he really was saying, how was that? But that's in the scriptures. I was at, um, is that Ecclesiastes uh, 6? She would lie upon him like a mighty stone in the And he would cast her away <laughs> there long. And he was lying in this shit, man. I could have been in college. Yeah, he, he didn't have the Holy Spirit on. Cause you have to be enlisted in this war, man. All you other guys, you crept in on the way and pretty much you were found not to be uh, those who tell you fit for the master of you. All right, come on. You got more, man? Yeah, no. Going back to Isaiah 30, verse 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children that said the Lord to take counsel, but not of me. And that covered with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Hey, it says a uh, 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 cover, because guess what, man? Hey, when when the when the when the, uh, when the lights camera, what is it? Lights camera action. It depends on what uniform you're wearing, man. Right? Um, when, when action comes, which is gonna be Jacob's trouble, right? Beginning with Jacob's trouble, all the way down to those looks, it's gonna depend on what uniform you're wearing, man. Which uniform you wearing? They're gonna let you know what size. Oh. And those that uh, what what did the scripture say? Uh, go to your gods, go to your gods. Let let them let them protect you in that day. I forget what it was. Okay, come, come, come. Go ahead, bro. God, verse verse uh, verse two. It says that walk to go down See, into and Egypt. Walk to go down to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Right, you are going down to to what? America, man. Right. The scripture say they trust in yeah, oppression. oppression. Mm -hmm. uh, Hey, let's get that too. <laughs> Hold that on then. Okay, cut. Yeah, cut. Uh, it says, uh, uh, yeah, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. They walk to go down. Because that's what you're doing. You downgrade the faces of men. Right. This is laws of the most, man. So my wife, you don't even cook this food all the way. You know, his, uh, his hygiene is horrible. Yeah. Everything about this man is off and it's, it's low. And you going to this man for answers and counsel. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get what you asked for. Death and hell, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's what yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh, the Lord says, trust not in, in riches when men break in. But still, we're going to start seeing a lot more money coming up missing out of these banks. So why would you put your stock in this thing? We're storing up our treasures in the world to come. That's if you say that. Because that, that's, that's actually taking place, like you said. Mm -hmm. My brother's out. My brother's been out. Like two weeks ago, my brother was showing up to that bank. Yeah, Bank of America. The money was just disappearing out of the bank account out of nowhere, man. But guess what? This, this spiritual bank account that we're building up, there's nothing going to be deducted from it, man. The only time something's going to be deducted from it, we're going to have to make that spiritual withdrawal in time of Jacob's trouble, man. That's why we storing up our treasure in heaven right now, man, that spiritual bank account. 
trying to finish it off. It says to have not ass at my mouth. It says to strip themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Yeah, Strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. The modern day Pharaoh is Esau, man. All right? So that's the covering that you're taking upon. Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, man. But you being conformed to this world by what? By, by your mind. You're taking on the ways of Esau. Go ahead, bro. It says, in the trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right. It says, therefore, should the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Yeah, so that's going to be your shame, man, in that day. But we, we got, we putting on the, 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 uh, the whole arm of the most high. Those are the garments that we're wearing. That's the covering that we're putting on. You have a shot. Therefore, you're going to be defended and not be put to shame. Those that are going to be put to shame, two thirds, man. Like the brother was saying earlier, we're, we're put to family. You're not going to have no protection. That go into that uh, protection. You look at that word protection in Luke 21st chapter. It goes into uh, shame. That's one of the definitions. You put the shame. And that's what happened when you defeated. Oh, you ever saw the, uh, the video of the cocky fight? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I love that, man. Right? And what happened? They get knocked out. And then they're covered with shame. But that's going to apply to each and every individual. He wasn't willing to yield and hearken to the house side, man, the king of Israel. It's going to be put to shame. Because when you don't hearken to your house side, then by default, that means that you trust in someone else. That's why uh, the scriptures say, um, one cannot serve, yeah, one cannot serve two masters. Yeah, so either you're a whole pastor than one and despise the other. It's not going to even be a neutral. You know, you don't either hate this or love Esau, or vice versa, love this or hate Esau. Because I'm hey, this is news flash. You can't come into this and still love Esau. Ooh. You gotta have this truth develops a, a healthy hate for Esau. And that's the spirit you should be in. Because according to the scriptures, it says, whoever is joined up to this man shall be thrust through. Why? Because he's the curse of the earth. Matter of fact, we're gonna go back to this job. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 36. But he that sit up against me, wrong with his own soul, yep, all that hate me, love death. Read that again. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, it says, but he that sit up against me, wrong with his own soul, all that hate me, love death. See that? All that hate your house shot. Now, how do you hate your house shot? By hating the doctrine. All you people out there who have a problem with our presentation, who hate your house shot. That's in the book of uh, Luke, the 10th chapter, the 16th verse. You got out of bed, you're going to be put to death, man. All right? See what I'm saying? That was the spirit of your house shot, man. Yeah, see, yeah. That was just getting us, yeah, man. Yeah. Like something to get you jacked up with it, man. Yeah, man, that's all you need. That's an example of these, man. Right, no discipline. See? Like you can't trust him, like you wouldn't trust him, you know what I mean? Trust that guy, man. You put your drink down, you can't, you know what I mean? <laughs> you wake up, nigga. <laughs> man. Real talk. You don't miss Yep. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 19, and verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. Yeah, read that again. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. And again, that's dealing with your house shot, man. What does it mean for him to reign over you? For you to concede to what's being presented. If you're not willing to heart, then you're considered an enemy to your house shot. See? Read that again. It says, but those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. That's right, yeah, when we tell you to put down a pork, and you said no. My grandma, you know what I mean? She ain't got a That's an example of you not having the Lord reign over you. Because when you consider a king, it comes, his, his kingdom, his domain, his domicile, if you will, right? It comes with legislations and laws and regulations. 
The so-called white man tell you not to run the light, to pay your taxes, you know, to pay your bills, to not commit certain crimes, and you have to honor that. At least it's going to be a penalty. So to not have the Lord reign over you means you're not willing to concede to his uh, command. Saying in the world goes, uh, if you're not a, you're not with me, you're against. But that's in the scriptures. He that is not with me is against me. He who gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. abroad. That's an offense. See? Yeah, go ahead. Huh? It says, but those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. He slayed them before me, and that process has already happened. But it's going to be perfected. It's going to be perfected at the return of the Lord. Remember, the scripture speaks about how they will be tormented with that unquenchable fire before the angels in the land. So the Lord is going to bring you hither. He's going to slay you. Why? Because you was not willing to have your house out reign over. You. And the brother just read that in Proverbs 8. Matter of fact, read that one more time. Come. Those who love, those who hate me, love them. That's one of the cold, that's a cold, right? You know how someone run for president and have a slogan? That, imagine somebody have a slogan like that. Those who hate me, love them. That's how you have to look at this. That's the campaign of your Howard Shot. Your Howard Shot for King. Those who Hate him? Love death. That's the hell. Yeah. That's why you have a sound. We all those mind enemies. That's a heavy king we're dealing with over here. He ain't playing. Man. Go ahead, huh? God, this is Proverbs chapter 8 yeah, yeah. and verse yeah, 36. Yeah. Break it, down. it says, Yeah, because, yeah, God, yeah. He's licking the. <laughs> Catch up package. <laughs> <laughs> this is Proverbs chapter 8, oh, verse yeah. 3. <laughs> this is Babylon the Great, man. This is indeed Babylon the Great. As promised. Real talk, bro. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 36. That's crazy, man. This place crazy. But Esau is to blame, all right? Let's be clear about that. He's the blame. But he has, he has uh, influence over the society, man. So he allows this wickedness. That's why the Lord is justified in taking him down, because he has proven to be an unfit king. Where do we start? You got something? Yeah, real quick. The book of Solomon 14 and 9. For the ungodly and his ungodly. Read that again. For the ungodly. Ungodly. Right, so the ungodly that's here on the planet Earth has a source. It would be the ungodly. And guess who? here on the planet Earth has a source. It will be the abominable, the perverseness. It has a source. We're looking at it. It will be the pervert himself. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, our eyes have been open, man. We have been, yeah, infused with that joke of life, which is the Holy Spirit. 
scripture speaks about that. Watch. Yeah, you should be back with the face. Yeah, yeah. It's milk. Turn it to the milk. Yeah, he said milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, well, you right, though. He's coming. He was honest. Yeah, he was. Gangsta the spirit of, uh, uh, what's the boxer guy? And Brunner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Brunner, you know what So the Most High hates Esau and his works. That's why this place is going to be destroyed. It's the most wickedest kingdom ever erected on the planet Earth. And throughout the rise and fall of kingdoms and empires, going back to the ancient Assyrian, the Media Persian Empire, the ancient Greeks, the Greco Roman Empire, and this current beast system, which pushes homosexuality. You got the LGBTQ, XYZ. And you got food that's pretty much in this very spectrum. There's nothing more than thumb in their nose up at the Lord, man. Pork. And we being generous right now. Make us go into, um, who's the island the guy had up there? Epstein Island, Epstein island or something. For the many basements. Oh, it was a picture um, of this guy. What is his name? The president, Biden. He said a picture. He's coming down the step, coming out of the jet with the girl and her knees. Was a boy? Oh, was that boy? See? See? See that? You see that? See that? You see that? It would have been horrible if it was a girl. Like, you know, just see that. This supposed to be the president, right? But it was a little boy, man. But he was dressed up like a girl or something, right? Yeah. Fucking dread, man. And guess what? You watching us too. Like all of these celebrities. Or like this broad, Jamie Lee Curtis. She a demon, man. She, she come back in the kingdom. We gonna, she gonna meet the rider. She gonna meet that rider iron, man. I don't know if you saw the iron. Uh, yeah, with the BP, man. She said she said her Oscar right next to her butt clothes. <laughs> and you know how it's spirit heavy though, right? The Lord set up all these Edomites, especially these prominent Edomites. He set them up where the fate of America peaks their interest. Like these, these celebrities, the fate of America has to peak their interest. That's, they watch us, man. They come across us, they watch us because their, their mindset is dominated by what's going to happen with America. The Lord put their spirit on them so that they entertain what we say. They don't give a damn about you black country, black folks, centric, niggas. Hey, you had a movie solution that came up on the uh, hospital on the Lancy Street in New York. They wanted to put it, put the brothers in a movie. And as you can see, a lot of movies, you'll see the Hebrew Israelites in there. You won't see too many Muslims, but I think Obama movie and certain other movies. Triple Nine. Triple Nine. Yeah, them Triple Nine. They had like I Super K, I know. Right. I just originally looked at that. When you look at the two other guys that were standing beside the speaker, one guy looked like a conscious guy, and the other guy looked like a damn gangster. Then they had the one that looked like General Johanna in the middle. Ooh. He was doing the speaker. When you go back and look at it, the two guys on the side, they had no, none of their tight, they had garments on. All right. Say, you know what I'm saying? They, you know. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say you going to love it. Yeah. Yeah. Really going to love it. He don't have no choice. <laughs> you see this? Oh, yeah. He a devil, man. He's like a devil. There was a time when they had Jake out of their head with all that yeah. friendly bullshit. We can see right through him, man. You know that he's a devil. That's one of his traits. It's a glory to the sleep. That's why he's known as uh, Hunter. You would let down your defense, and all of a sudden you wake up in the room. Hanging upside. Yep, come on.
they are all together become filthy. There is none that do a good. Right, there is none of the Edomites that do a good. Why? Because it was woven in your very fabric. It was created like that. Give me real quick, uh, Jeremiah. You were built like that. You see, our people lost sight of that, which the Lord put us in a very peculiar uh, position anyway. That's why the curse is so heavy, man. The Lord said you're going to go to the enemy to the war of all things. That, you have to be outside to put you on the box with that, man. You have to go to your enemy, man. Right? Just to give you a vivid illustration, right, is to dumb it down so well. Imagine a deer being under the false scent of a lion being his source of survival. That's not even going to look right there. You know what I'm saying? The deer needs to get out of there, man. So that's what the Lord did. He pretty much, um, he pretty much took away that instinct of survival from Israel. So now you're prancing around your enemy and you are completely oblivious to the hidden dangers that come from just being him, man. That's why this is their rescue, the scripture. And in hopes of being delivered and coming into the favor of your house. Come on, huh? It's Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 16. An enemy speaking sweetly with his lips. Right, and that's an example of the craftiness of Esau to lure you in. And those lips is not just him coming up to you and speaking. No, that comes in the form of legislation, right. law, right. his entertainment. That's speaking sweetly with his lips. Oh, that's also in Proverbs the seven chapter. She flattereth with her words, her lips. Well, but in his heart, he imagined of how to throw thee into a pit. Right. In his secret means, his counsel, he's coming up with ways to cast this people down, to throw you, to keep you in that pit, which is America, Babylon, the great, to have you to be a perpetual servant. And really, those of you who don't fit the bill, he's going to kill your ass anyway. Right. You got these lists, the red list, blue list, yellow list, black list. Well, uh, he will weep with his eyes, mm -hmm. but if, it's like, he will weep with his eyes, but if he finds opportunity, he will not be satisfied with yeah, blood. Yeah, he will not be satisfied with blood. And that scripture right there is manifesting itself in his profession, in his duty more and more. Case in point. Crown 19. That was an opportunity that you could see the so-called white man was salivating. He was like, I can't take this is the opportunity now. You know, he was pushing it. He was leaning on you with that. He was threatening your your um your livelihood. No, you don't take this. You don't let me fight your ass with this. Right? <laughs> then you're not gonna be able to come in the grocery store. That was him looking to take advantage, seize the opportunity of the blood of Israel, which this man lusts for the blood of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What, huh? That was it? Matter of fact, continue on it. Yeah, just read a little bit more on that. Yeah. Verse, verse 17, it says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Right, so the scriptures is going into detail concerning a, a, a certain character which we know that character by his characteristics. That's why when you read um, Genesis, the 25th chapter, it goes into, right, the characteristics of Esau. So now, when you take a step back and assess this drama, we know the characters based upon the characteristics. So who else is the wicked, man? Must 
gun. It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Right, so we're going to find this particular person there first. And when you consider all the adversity of Israel, it's in the records. For an example, when you was hanging from that tree, no, this actually the lawmaker that said, let's bring that back. Lynching from, actual, from an actual tree. Founding on the founding so when you was hanging from that tree, who was on the other end? It was Esau, man. Founder. Founder of the finding jurisdiction. That was the brother just spoke. Right, that was like a yeah, like a parable, like yeah. Founder of the Founding jurisdiction. That was King talk. Jurisdiction goes into domain, rulership. So he was in harmony with the spirit. That's what we're speaking on. We're speaking on a transition of power when we get into the nuts and bolts of our message. Think not, we just a bunch of guys out here to call black people up. Ask them how they feel. Go ahead. Huh? And though he pretend to help thee. Right, so called white man will pretend to help thee. Because yes. he was set up like, uh, for an example, school, schooling, yeah, like he's trying to help you. He gave you a scholarship, come in, that's going to keep you in further darkness. You have just enrolled into the lower regions of Babylon. Go ahead. God, said, yet shall he undermine thee. Right, he's going to undermine thee. Why? Because he's a, a, a serpent, man. Go ahead. He will shake his head mm -hmm. and clap his hands and whisper much. Right, he will whisper much. Go ahead. And change his countenance. And change his countenance, meaning he's going to show who he is. And he has already shown himself to us because we're looking at him through those glasses. Oh, you remember the old movie, uh, 13 Ghosts? Y'all was out there? But you can see the ghost yeah. if you had all those glasses. Y'all was at Church of Lance. Right. So we're viewing things through the, through the lenses of the Holy Spirit. And we can see who this man is. He that touch a pinch shall be the foul their wolf. And he that have fellowship with the proud man. Right, he that have fellowship with the proud man. And that proud man, that's Esau, the so-called white man. The scriptures speaks against having fellowship with him. That means coming into an agreement with this devil, making a pact, a covenant. Read that again. It says, he that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that have fellowship with the proud man shall be like unto him. Right, meaning you're going to suffer the same fate as the so-called white man. Because according to the records, biblical prophecy, America is going to be destroyed. And it's going to be justified. Damn devil, man. Yeah. <laughs> Probably on the coaching staff. He's going to turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to down. Let's see. They knew about two minutes. Right. Scripture says those who uh, align themselves with Esau is going to be like unto him. Meaning what? You're going to suffer the same fate and judgment as this devil, man. Which the Lord ultimately, in, in, in his perfection, has touched him, you know, the prophecy is going for, has sanctioned the destruction of, of America, which serves as the throne of the so-called white man, which that violent takedown will assure the so-called white man going into captivity. From hence, he will be taken. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, mm -hmm. and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right, everyone that's joined unto the so called white man, meaning what? You trust in this society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be an um, a advocate for black people, but if you trust in the so called white man society, then you are just as guilty as him. You can even associate yourself with being a Hebrew Israelite. But if your be-all, end-all involves America, if you're not willing, or like the brother, you know, um, 
Uh, the brother, we told the brother to come out. You know, Lord, you know, hopefully the brother is still the seed saying when he came out last week, he's all jacked up. But we were mentioning certain things like lining up your beard and you know, not, you know, doing those things. And pretty much coming out and committing fully to the house. A lot of guys ain't willing to do that. Go ahead, huh? yeah. Are we doing that? Yeah. Book of Sirach, what please ask is 13, verse 1. He that tent the pitch shall be defiled the whip, and he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. See that? that go again, man. Those who have fellowship with the proud man will be like unto him. Which, by the way, that's the state of America according to the Bible. According to the biblical prophecy. America is said to be destroyed. That's right. To fall under the list of the many great kingdoms and empires. <laughs> that rose <laughs> that rose the time and eventually fell out of time. America is no different. Yeah, you know, these devils, they believe they're gonna be here, man. But they're starting to feel the press now. But even the higher up scriptures tell you that they come to the conclusion at some point that they have for a short time. Might be a draft, right? These are all symbols of a uh, withering society. Right? America had to deal with drafts in its heyday. They was uh, pumping out for people. They had that morale. Everybody right. wanted to be a soldier. You see that in uh, what that is, uh, Captain America. He wanted to fight in the dawn. Yeah. 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 yeah, he said, "Yeah, my grandfather and stuff." He said, "Can I please one request to be to send to the yeah." Yeah, the yeah, yeah, infantry, yeah. the 144th Brigade Battalion of England. Yeah, they was all yeah. jacked up by being, yeah, the fight, yeah, they had that uh, spirit of, uh, that patriotic spirit. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a sign of the crumbling of America, man. And scriptures say forsake her. Forsake her. Nobody coming to our aid. Nobody want to help. The spirit of the Lord have drained that spirit away from everybody. We don't want to end up in a few other stragglers, you know. It's <laughs> like the club, right? Yeah. Yeah, the club, you know, there's some creepy guy still hanging around. Man, the door, come on, man. It's over. <laughs> I'm shouting the nigga. <laughs> He's bagged in. <laughs> yep, come on, out. I did, I did go back to Isaiah 24. Yeah. Isaiah 24 and verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Right, that's the current state of the planet Earth. The planet Earth is mourning and it's fading away. Where do we begin? Across the board, the earth is mourning. The air that you breathe, the food that you consume, the water that you drink, right? Everything is a symbol of fading away. It, it's the Lord's quality. Matter of fact, let's prove it. Go to um, Acts, the first chapter. Okay. And let's, go, let's look up that word right there. Read that again. Isaiah 24, verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Mm -hmm. The world languisheth and fadeth away. Right, the earth is mourning. It's in the mourning stage. It's fading. It's languishing. You can look up a couple of words too. All right, let's get to the bottom of this, man. So you people won't think we just a bunch of disgruntled. Which in a certain sense we are. But we got the right to be. That's another thing. How the hell are you? You crying out for justice. Oh, remember this nigga Charles Barkley? Yeah. yeah. House nigga in the house telling them to set up back there, stop crying. You know, you <laughs> the book of Acts, chapter 1, and verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, mm -hmm. 
and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. Right, and that happened. The disciples, and those who were joining to the disciples, and the men who were joining to them, and the overall soldiers who were joining to the ranks, they served as witnesses of Yahweh Shai in that region, Judea all the way up to Samaria. But it goes on to say, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Meaning the ministry will spill over to the future. So what you're witnessing here is the witnesses of Yahweh Shai. The king. We serve as ambassadors. And we have a certain level of diplomatic immunity, if you will. And that's why you don't see these devils, you know, um, coming up against us in, in the sense of trying to, you know, put us to death right now. Because the ministry has to run its course. And there's been guys who have made documentaries that came up missing, man. Old family, they mentioned, they even hit at one of the bankers' names. They just get done away with. Great state. Yeah, oh, that's the, the great state. That's the documentary, right? They think his whole family got put down. But here we are. We got pictures of these devils. We got the bankers of colony names going into intimate lessons, detailed, draining out sensitive information. That's because we're here on behalf of the king. How was that? Go ahead. Come on. This is. Read it one more time. This is Acts 1 and 8. It says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right. So again, the ministry, if you can, if you can receive it, those men are back today here in the uttermost part of the earth. Now, we got this word uttermost. Okay. Strong's G, 2078. It says, extreme. Last, right, boy. Last in time or in place. See, last in time or in place. See, what does that mean some more? Come. It says last in a series of places. Mm -hmm. Last in temporal succession. Mm -hmm. It says. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. This served as the end of the nations having their time to rule. This it. That's why Esau is known as the end. So these other nations will never have time to have dominion over the planet of the end. Esau being in the power at this time. Well, it says the last referring to time. Mm -hmm. Good position, strong enough. Okay. In strong, it says furtherest, final mm -hmm. of place or time. Mm -hmm. Ends of Last, latter end, mm -hmm. lowest. Lowest. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. That's why the scripture says, let's read that again in Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24, verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languishes and fadeth away. What? This is that time. Well, this is the Lord's grade of everything, man. The water that you drink, this is the Lord's. This is the pit, the bottom of the bottom. The worst case scenario. Is it more? Real quick, is it more of those songs? Okay, it says, well, uttermost. Uttermost. All right, now come on. It says, the haughty people of the earth do language. Right, now, the scriptures say the haughty people. You see where there's a certain people that's associated with this lifetime. Who are those haughty people? Let's look up that word haughty. It says, uh, the word haughty in the strong is 8. 0791. It says, height. Elevation. Right, yeah, absolutely. Come on, man. Uh, in the ancient, in the, for example, the ancient Egyptians, they didn't have technology to take flight. So all that serves as a symbol of so-called white man, the eagle being the power, which we know that height from a metaphorical sense is concerning his pride. Right? Matter of fact, let's do it. Go to that Obadiah real quick. It's Obadiah, uh, verse 3. It says, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. It says, thou that dwelleth in the cuffs of the rock, whose habitation is high. See that? That's what they were high, man. Yeah. Oh, bend back to the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the back door. Attitude with the woman now. Come on, come on. 
Obadiah verse 3 again, it says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks, yep, go ahead. whose habitation is high. See, so that word high right there is associated with the Go ahead. It says, That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? It says, Though thou. Right. Right. So who else they go into but the so-called white people? <laughs> He's the proud that the scripture speaks of. His whole aura centers around pride. Now, all my children, I hate y'all. You know when the spirit. The spirit of your how about you? <laughs> Obadiah, verse 3 again. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high. Oh, and again, those clefts and those rocks. These buildings are replicas of those clefts and those rocks. Yeah. That proves that the Bible is talking about the so-called white man. Because the weather place is hot. Not to mention his outlook on things. This nigga really believes he's going to rule forever. He thinks he's going to hit the reset button and bring Israel back into captivity. Reset the, a, a new standard for buying and selling. And everybody's going to fall in place and he's going to create a soft landing for his kids when they come back into regeneration. No, the Lord is going to upset those plans. Right? right? And we serve as a symbol of that manifestation. Go ahead, I. It says, Thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, mm -hmm. that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? He's even high minded. Okay. Okay. He's high minded. He said in his heart, going to bring him down. Hey, you know what, what, what that points to? The fact that he listened to us. Because right. are not we saying he's going to be brought down? So his rebuttal in his heart, nobody's going to bring him down. I'm going to stab him. Go ahead, I'm. Verse 4, it says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right, and that eagle represents the so-called white man. You pull out your dollar, you see an eagle on it, uh, the eagle is synonymous with this man's very spectrum, man. Oh, you see an American flag pole, get the eagle on top of it. Which there is a science behind the Lord refers to this man as the eagle because of the uh, similar qualities, if you will. You know, the eagle, he's known for his keen eyesight. Well, guess what? You could apply the so-called white man to that. This man have a camera the size of a damn pinhead to do a documentary on ants. Also, this devil, this devil, he has the ability to see his enemies, to put the scope on his enemies like an eagle. An eagle can see a fish in the river, and, you know, and descend down, and then he'll, he'll lay those claws on him. And with those claws, that's heavy too. That really goes back to his legislation for laws, which, when you go into certain contracts, you have to have claws as well. Which was set up to hook you, and to snare you, to draw you in. See? Go ahead, up. It says, Though though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars. Right. Now, that's heavy. When you go into that word nest, when you dig into that word, it takes you back to a place to store weapons. So this man actually have weapons set up in the stars, thus your. Um, program, which is one of the um, uh, five or six, uh, I believe it's six, six military branches of Esau. You have the Coast Guard, you have the Marine, obviously Army, Navy, Air Force, then you have the Space Force. Why do the so-called white men have a Space Force? Because they anticipate the return of your house shot and the angels, man. All right, come on. It says, bitch! Will I bring thee down, saith the Lord? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right, so let's go back to that. And this is the word of uh, the word of Odi, Isaiah 24, verse 4, Romans 8. So the scriptures are speaking about a particular people. 
the scripture refer to these people as the halter, right? So again, let's let's get to the bottom of this. Get a word, halter. Strong's H four seven nine one. It says height, elevation, elevated place, in a high place. Right, in a high place, and also that translates to the so-called white man being in power, man, having dominion over the planet Earth. That's, that's the aspect of that word high being associated with the so-called white man. All right, go ahead. He says height or proudly of yeah, no. Yeah, because these devils proud as hell, man. Again, they believe they're going to continue to rule perpetually, man. Go ahead. We got some of that thing. Yeah, kind of strong definition. It says altitude, i.e. Uh, concretely, an elevated place, mm. and strap the elevation, uh, figuratively, ele uh, elation. He says, adverbially, above dignity, holy. He said, They think that that's normal. They don't know that. That's what I've heard of such a thing. It's a baby prophet. Baby prophet, baby prophet. 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 Therefore has the curse devoured the earth, mm -hmm. and they that dwell therein are no. desolate. No. Therefore the inhabitants no. of the earth are burned as you men know. Yeah, read that one more time. Right. Verse 6. Therefore has the curse devoured the earth, mm -hmm. and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned. Right. And that's, the, that's, that's the end game. That's the end game. Because of the earth being ran by the wicked, the Lord have laid up destruction, which the scripture going to a vivid illustration. It will come in the form of fire, man. Those thermal nuclear winds that the Lord have set up to combat the pride of Esau and to serve as his judgment. And that in itself, again, has proven to be a challenge, man. So, so most people are hurting that most people are not going to be able to get over. The fact that the life that you see in the drama, that's 
same Bible that was laid out and when we brought my coffee table, it provoked the destruction of America. See, come on, huh? Okay. Isaiah 24 and verse 7, the new wide mourner, the vile language, all the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of terror ceases, the noise of them that rejoice in them, the joy of the heart ceases. Right, you got the sound of mirth, the sound of happiness, it's going to be replaced with mourning, lamentations, and woe. That's according to the report, man. Right? And this will happen in the time of Noah. That was the heavy spirit of mirth, carelessness. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Oh, you had that? What? This is in his profession now, though. Yeah, that's it, man. That's what he did in the house. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Ever since that time, it talks about how uh, the imaginations of these other people was only evil continuing. Oh, come on, you got it. This is Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. And Paul saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And we said, it is even greater now. We had, we had the height of weakness. The climax of to, uh, uh, the definition in Google of a woman is if you feel like a woman. That's sick, man. <laughs> and that's just, you know what I mean? We all know how. That's why this devil going to get double, man. You got to know like you got this guy to do. Wait, you got, man. Zaya, 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 all right, in, in, the, yeah, in the kingdom, are you? No, bro. You ain't going to have that thought in your mind. You're not going to be defiled like that. Right? Once the law, statutes, and commandments put on the inward parts, all that going to be wiped out, man. There ain't going to be no room for all that uh, forward, forward dressing, personal that you're thinking, man. You can't so ain't going to get honored for it. Just say, just so it, just say it if it was to happen. Man, you know what you're going to see. I ain't going for the celebrating in the mouth of swords, man, ready to chop your head off, man. In righteousness. We can't do that, right? Everybody. Oh, because it says, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil to change. So it's only evil to change. That's what you see, these people, everybody got an opinion. And when a nigga do open his mouth, is he doing worse than the nigga before that said something? Right now. Come on, come on, I'm right here. So why the only solution is destruction? Yeah, because uh, even, this, even the Lord said, why, uh, you will only revolt more and more. Yeah. yeah, why should you be stricken anymore? You know? You think you're going to ask to be able to talk a nigga down? No. So the Lord already set up the perfect antidote is going to come in the form of the famine, the food shortages, the power outages, right? That's going to be the visitation of your house about you. Come on, say Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right, so you see where our Lord Yahweh Shah is alluded to a certain time in history, right? Which is different. We have people to this very day alluding and looking back in retrospect as touching the flood. So that's why Yahweh Shah made an honorable mention of the flood and pretty much tied it into this present life. And we can see the parallel with the scripture going into detail. Go ahead. God, it says, Well, as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage. Right. So before the flood came, the people was eating and drinking and marrying. Right? Go ahead. 
until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right, until the Lord sent all hell, man. So that, that shows you right there that the mindset of the people is going to be oblivious to the hidden dangers all the way up until that moment, man. Right? Go ahead. It says, and knew not until the flood came. Right, and the key words there is knew not. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. The word knowledge goes back to where? No. So what's going to contribute to your demise? The demise of you two thirds? You not knowing. And it makes all the sense of the world. If your fire alarm go off and you can't quite register where it is, you think it's a goddamn uh, popsicle truck, then you're gonna you're gonna uh, succumb to the fire. And what's gonna be the main source to you being taken in that fire? You didn't know. See? Read that again. It says, and knew not until the flood came. See, and knew not until the flood came. And that's going to be the snare of your house by some y'all side. Just like a fish. Oh, let's get that real quick. People wandering aimlessly through Babylon the Great, not knowing that there's a snare waiting on them. And whether that snare <laughs> manifests itself in the form of the famine or, or wild beasts. Oh, we can't forget about even the robot dog. Right? Or well, a missile itself, it remains to be seen. However, the Lord told to take your ass out. What's going to be the very catalyst to you falling? Do not know it. Come on. God, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, and verse 12. I get it now. When Yahweh said, My people, they're wise to do evil. A nigga can come up with a plan to ambush you. When you leaving out the ring fight. So the nigga don't consider that the seasons are changing, man. And when I say the seasons are changing, that translates to uh, a translation of power. Where the so-called white man will be moved out of the way. Hey, that's gonna be terminal. That's not gonna be a smooth transition. That's why when you read Acts the 14th chapter, it speaks about uh, that tribulation that we must endure as we close in on the world of God. Come on. Please ask me chapter 9 and verse 12. For man also know him not his time. Mm -hmm. as See? Man know him not. As y'all was asking, that's the They knew that. That's the first symptom that proves you're about to be destroyed. When you don't know what's going on. See? Read that again. For man also know him not his time. Mm -hmm. As the fishes that are taken in the evil net. Right, and the scripture referred to the coming and going of men as fishes. You know how volatile fish is, they have no control. And that net comes from where? From the top. Go ahead. It said, and as the birds that. You know, a, a, a fish, he can't fight his way out of he got no arms or nothing, man. He just at the mercy of that net. And that net is coming from a higher power. Well, huh? It says, and that's the birds that are caught in the snare. Mm -hmm. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time. See, in an evil time. That's the time we in. The time where the evils will befall the planet Earth. Now, again, you can read about that in Luke, the 21st chapter. Right? 2nd uh, Ezra, 15, 16th chapter. And all throughout the prophetic says of the scripture, it pretty much serves as a build up to now. This is that evil time. The Lord has laid snares for you people, man. And you're not going to know from whence it came until, right, you're probably about to give up the last drop, you know. Because that's what scripture says. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. The Spirit, yeah. The Lord is going to laugh at you, man. And it's beautiful, man, to hear with you people, man. That's a check. And I, you better not come on our coming board again. Asking us to go to the hood or go to the brothers and fuck them, man. <laughs> That's on the record. You can do a remix. <laughs> a parody on that. We stand behind that. Nigga, saw up with the, uh, what they call the math out. Uh, who shites the math out, man? What the fuck y'all here? <laughs> with a fago. <laughs> oh, hey, that's the Did y'all see, the, y see the, the video on the test? The nigga with the boots? Yeah, the nigga had the fago to match, man. 
And the nigga, it was amazing. The nigga had the stake on, he was rolling the blunt. I said, man, no, let the Lord kill that nigga. <laughs> then they just gonna say, man, you niggas on the west side, I don't wanna see y'all with these on. I started this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Jeremiah 7 and 16, it says, therefore, pray not for this people. Right, we're not here to pray for this people, man. Why? Because first and foremost, we know the will of your house by some outside is to destroy you. But, but furthermore, the Lord sent us here in the midst of you so we can see why he's going to destroy you. Right? So at this point, if you pray for these people, then that means you don't understand what's going on. These are the same niggas that came up against the prophets, man. You see how they was acting, right? No regards, no respect. Go ahead. It says Jeremiah 7 and 16. Oh, it says, yeah. <laughs> it says, therefore pray not for this people. <laughs> right? Neither lift up, cry nor prayer for them. Right. We are not to pray for these people, man. They're doomed. They're destined for the Lord. Go ahead. It says, for I will not hear thee. The Lord is not going to hear our cries as pertaining to the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. Those outside of the uh, fame of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. It was already written in existence how the Lord is going to kill you at. What? It says, See if thou not what they do in the cities of Judah. Mm -hmm. and see, we, see, we see it. Yeah. Lord put us in, we can see what they do in the cities of Judah. Which the city is a people before it's a place. So amongst you niggas, there's nothing more than an unruly spirit, a rebellious, right, unaccountable, lazy. Go ahead. Huh? And when See, I say lazy, I mean right here. Because yeah. a nigga will go to, you just got to make me with that. Head piece that wing it. Here, no. Right? You on the weekend, you know, tricking up. Yeah, what I mean by lazy, you're not willing to uh, pursue your house shot. There'll be no research. Go ahead, I'm going to say, uh, you have not at all my counsel. Right, right. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The council is really the, the uh, hands of the Right. Remember the scripture right. say until the Lord entered into the ark. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Wow. It says, See if thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. This is uh, St. John chapter 17 and verse 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Well, this is your house, sir. Matter of fact, let me continue. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. The elect, man. Well, the Lord ain't out of his own mouth saying he ain't praying for you niggas, man. Right. He only praying for the ones that Yahweh gave him, man. Point blank period. And we come in that same state, man. And you know? if you say that up, because Yahweh shot, Lord willing, we'll part of number pray for us. King David prayed for the two thirds not to get it. Yeah. Yep. So, that, so, so that prayer that King David prayed was that Psalm 69, yeah. 22? Yeah. yeah, that proves right there that that table, which was quoted in Psalm 69, that that table was yep. on the cell, right? Right. That proves right. that that table is, is the uh, access to being preserved. So if that becomes a snare, and that means no way you can be saved. That's also a, a good example. Right? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. I'm going to get a letter. Who's got the time? I'm going to say it. It's for your welfare. Right, that's it. With that word welfare, you might get help. Yep. And that food that we're about to go into ahead of time. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, and understand not. 
Like it says, go ye and tell this, this people, man. Hear ye and be. And that lets you know, the scripture let you know that here is synonymous with understanding. Because what the scripture say? What the scripture read again? Because it says, hear ye and be, but understand See? not. Hear ye and be, but understand not, man. So uh, prop, uh, Hebrews 4 and 2 also speaks to that. Right? The word was preached unto them, right? As it was preached unto us. <laughs> you know, but hey, guess what? <laughs> it didn't profit them because it wasn't mixed with faith. All right? So if you got faith, by default, you're going to understand the message, man. Persons see the sign. They see, oh, uh, they, they, don't, they don't trust that this is going to happen, man. Hey, well, what is this talking about, man? They in a state of confusion when they see it. Go ahead, bro. It says, see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, see ye indeed, once again. Right. They see the sign. <laughs> but they don't perceive what this is talking about, man. Right. It's clear. It's clear. <laughs> how, how much more clear we got to get? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, fire. <laughs> it is an icy <laughs> And like the elder said, it's, it's evident that that's not no lie because that's the talk. Right. Everywhere. Man, I'm talking about it. Yeah, come on, sir. That's the momentum on the planet Earth right now. It's not like we reach it. Exactly. They developed the milk and test fire milk. I believe, uh, was it North Korea? They just fired a missile, another missile into the sea, right? So the stage is set for prophecy to unfold in this perfection, man. Right? Come on, make the heart of this people fat. What people? So-called Negro, Latino, and Native American—they're not able to wrap their mind around the severity, the sense of urgency that comes with this time. Here it is, the Lord got the prophets out. And we're not shying away. Uh, what the scriptures say, I have not spoken in secret or in some dark corner of the earth. And that's equivalent to a, um, a trumpet sound, a warning sound, a siren. You can't say that, that a fire alarm wasn't set up to uh, uh, warn you. You can't get that misconstrued. It says, and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. So the Lord the one instigated this whole scene. Well, the people see it, our people see it, but they can't quite get it. The Lord himself orchestrated it that way. He don't want you to get it. And why? Well, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Right. So... The results of you not being able to grasp what's going on, that means you cannot convert the return to the Lord. All trust means they'll be on the mission. Yeah, I talked about what they don't think of truth. Everybody turned their hook in the middle. What is locked up, thank you. Because you can't trade one of them. What about the respect? The future of the respect. <laughs> then he said, I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without evidence. <laughs> and, the, and the houses without man. Yep, read that again. And the houses without man. And the land shall be utterly desolate. Right, and the land shall be utterly desolate, man. So that's the scripture really giving you the time when Israel will finally wake up. It will be with a land be desolate. Man, that's, 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 that's a nugget. <laughs> Hey man, you see it all out here, man. Look, come on. Kind is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right, and how I said, he have not lost none. Right? right? With the son of addition. So you have two extremes. You have those. Uh, well, you can go ahead and this. But you have where some are considered lost in the sight of the Lord. The Lord is not concerned with you versus those who have been found. 
and recovered by the hand of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. All right? Son, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and uh, it's like verse 3. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Get the word lost. Son, that word lost, strong G, 622. It says, To destroy. To oh, see that? To destroy. So you already know what it was before. The Lord then recover you. The Lord then, uh, uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 28 chapter, no man shall buy you. <laughs> right? That means you lost. <laughs> Read that again. God, it says to destroy, mm -hmm. to put out of the way. Whoa, to put out of the way, man. So for those who are considered lost in the sight of your by Shem, Yahweh Shah, you're going to be put out the way. You're going to be put to death. Point blank, and to add insult to injury, if you will, we could go into detail how you're going to be put to death. We read that earlier in Jeremiah the 15th chapter, where the Lord have created various ways. There's created the Lord created 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 forms of judgment. Right? It says to declare that one must be put to death. One Ooh. must be put to death. That's the declaration, man. And that goes back to what we just read in Isaiah the sixth chapter and other scriptures. It's in the records. So if it's in the records, that means you must be put to death. You can't go back and alter what's been written or sanctioned by your house by some other child. Yeah. Uh, 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 like the other said, man. And like like the definition said to, to lost. So those are the ones that can't get it, man. Going back to the scriptures. Those that are destined for death, man. Those that must be put to death. All right, so that's why you won't be converted and healed. That's the gauge that the Most High set up, right? Understand it. So with all that getting, Proverbs 4 and 7, with all that getting, get understanding. My people are destroyed. My people are, that's it. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's it. Why? Because the Most High didn't open you up, like you said, to get to get your bridge to, to salvation. Right. Get your protective hedge. So that right there, uh, well, that's why the gospel is here. That's why they can't. They got eyes they can't see and ears they can't hear. It's all the effort to kill you. Yeah, you people just look at it like, ah, uh, 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 I don't want to get nothing. I mean, that's knowledge. I don't need that type of knowledge. I got this knowledge. Right. Not understanding it, not having this, is the Lord uh, uh, green like to kill you because uh, what's that? The deep to the ninth chapter. Speaks about that to what those who are not covered with that mark of redemption. What's that mark of exemption? It's knowledge. And them deaf angels, you can tell, man, you know, you're getting the truth, you're getting a little more seasoned than yesterday. And what happened? You see where, in how about some Yahweh Shai, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, don't, don't fuck with niggas. You can tell Yahweh Shai, you look at like Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai hate that nigga. Yeah. You know, you look at Yahweh yeah. Shai, hate that nigga. Yeah, you want to down wrong with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Think of Yahweh Shai, uh, 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 the man. I hate that nigga. <laughs> right, you can see, right? You see how to say blood was said for that nigga, man. That's true. Go ahead, Austin. I guess I can read it quick. I, uh, the book of, uh, just going back, it's an indicator to show you that uh, it's in the uh, divide when his word is put on display. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject to sin. So when this word is, 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 is presented unto you, those that reject the show that you uh, is that malicious soul that you do, you have uh, you were destined for death because you wasn't uh, able to grasp and hold fast to the words of Yahweh Shah. That's why I tell you that in uh, also in the book of Titus, uh, until the pure, all things are pure, but until the defiled, unbelieving is not the pure. So what you gotta do? You just gotta kill it. You know. Because this is Jude, verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, that the Lord, that, sorry, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So the ones who didn't believe in their time, you were destroyed. Hey, you're coming back in that same light, man. You, you, 
uh, coming back in there, uh, perfect the lot to receive those missiles or, or whatever various way of judgment the Lord has prepared for you, man. You know? Because you don't same spirit that, that wanted flesh pots and cucumbers coming yeah. out of Egypt, man. Yep. To the Lord. So, hey, two thirds got to fulfill a lot, man. This, this might be a lick. It's predestinated from the beginning. Two-thirds was predestinated from the beginning. Right. They, were, they would be the betrayers. They would be the betrayers, Zach, exactly, in the movie. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, you had the bitches, you had uh, the devil in distress, you had the heroes, you had the villain, and you had the betrayer. Go back to Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't even want salvation, that's really what you were saying. I don't want salvation. And they weren't nice about it. They no, they weren't. Yeah, they were coming up. Yeah, 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 exactly. They were being a, a, a nuisance, if you will, to the pastor, man, to the word of the Lord. That's in the book of uh, First Ezra. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. First Ezra, first chapter. It's in the records, man, concerning the rebellion of Israel, man, and the penalty behind it. So that's why we can say with certainty that you're going to be destroyed. And again, the way that the Lord designed it, your death is by design. You know that. The way the Lord engineered is up to him. All right, you got it, right? The book of 1st Ezra, chapter 1, verse 24. As for the things that came to pass in his time, they were written in former times. See, they were written in former times. That includes even us going into captivity. That act was written in former time. See that? Go ahead. Concerning those that sin and did wickedly against the Lord above all people and kingdoms. Right, and that's that's uh the Israelites, man. When you get into the nuts and bolts, why? Because they was given the laws, that's the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Al-Sah. So they sinned above all. In fact, in order really to sin technically, you have to transgress the law. Now the reason why Esau is going to fit that is because he took the law to himself. Not understanding how this, this, this is a serious game, man. Command the outside. You are know, the of the heavenly father. You see? Sit crazy, man. Let me see. 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 It says, and how they aggrieved him in you know city. <laughs> oh, that's how I went with the FBG thug me, because I really didn't know yeah. too much about it. And I was, I had a hate for him, I was watching, and I found out he got killed. Oh, hell, man. All right, come on. Come on, it says how they grieved him. Yeah, death is a beautiful thing. When the Lord put niggas to death, right? It appeases the spirit. You no, know, everybody got the spirit of the Lord is appeasing to us. You can't tell me, man, you want to rejoice that big boy. <laughs> Crazy though. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker died. Yeah. Mama house. Motherfucker died behind the counter. That was the one rap nigga died like that. The Mama house nigga on the ground. That's weird. I was just watching it. Yeah, yeah, they had to split it. Boy, I tell you, put that nigga in the sand, man. They had to put it with a nigga. Stalking the nigga to the Mama house, nigga. I guess I'll play real quick. Uh, Psalm 48 in verse uh, 11. 
let Mount Zion rejoice. Mm. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgment. Because of thy judgment, man. Because in the spirit, the Lord stepping in on our behalf. Remember, we are vexed with the conversations of day to day. Right? What does scripture say? The day to day. Conversations, conversations of the wicked in their deeds. See, that spirit. Can't make it up, man. Right? Yeah, man, it's them. Terrified. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said. Yeah, that's the stench of the house. Gold. Yeah, come on. Second Exodus 1 and verse 24. It says, As for the things, it's like the first Exodus, chapter 1, verse 24. As for the things that came to pass in his time, they were written in former times mm -hmm. concerning those that sinned. It did wickedly against the Lord above all people and kingdoms, mm -hmm. and how they grieved him exceedingly. Right, they grieved the Lord exceedingly, and most notable in the uh, wilderness. They grieved the Lord. Here it is, the Lord brought them out in that captivity, and they rebelled. Well, those spirits are back today, man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So that the words of the Lord rose up against Israel. So that the words of the Lord rose up against Israel. Who is Israel? The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. And what lies within those words that rose up? Judgment. By way of sword, famine, uh, the wild beast, the dogs, the terror. We read that in Jeremiah the 15th chapter. And other forms of punishment that the Lord has created you know, in order to bring forth that, that uh, penalty for rebellion, man. So it's a beautiful time, you know, to see the judgments of the Lord. But, you know, also, it, it gives us more incentive to pray, you know, to send out that petition to the Heavenly Father to keep us and protect us, man. The Lord about to, man, the Lord about to open up, man. You can see it, man. The Lord gonna attack the psyche of the people and all that, the whole bank thing. Food, you know, the power outages. Lord gonna torment, gonna terrify you people. That pride is gonna be replaced with, with fear. People are gonna be thrown with fear, man. Certain cities, you might hear the sound of chattering teeth drop. Yeah, close in on the city, you hear the sound of chattering teeth drop. Goddamn, uh, uh, Scooby Doo episode. Yeah. Yeah, the fear is gonna really settle mm -hmm. in, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. A That's a form of the captivity. See? So, and with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, we come to Gash. Double line is time. Teach us the head of apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the fellow laborers out there. As always, you believe it's the next time. Shalom. Shalom. PTA of Bible Ball. Soon. Night. Night. Very soon. Right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was cold.